Julian Assange's gift. Julian Assange, one of the founders of the Internet transparency outfit WikiLeaks, is widely regarded by the corporate press as an enemy. Why? I believe the answer can be gleaned by history of journalistic breakthroughs that came not from the established press, but through alternative and underground presses. At the height of the black liberation struggles of the 1960s, Liberation News Service produced film interviews with people like Huey P. Newton, one of the co-founders of the Black Panther Party. It was a powerful breakthrough. During the so-called War on Drugs, a little-known journalist named Gary Webb from a tiny West Coast newspaper, the San Jose Mercury News, broke the story of CIA drug running to black gangsters in Cali. Webb won a Pulitzer, and then came the counterattack. The big news guns, big papers in New York, Washington, and L.A. attacked his reporting. Mercury cut him loose, and thereafter, news of an alleged suicide came. What does this tell us? That's what new news sources break through against the grain of the establishment. Now think back to the Iraq War. Remember? Weapons of mass destruction. How about Dick Cheney's predictions that they'll greet us as liberators? Julian's WikiLeaks broke through the state's lies like a battering ram. And then WikiLeaks released a video of a 2007 shoot-up of Iraqi civilians by U.S. troops in an AH Apache helicopter gunship. The accompanying audio of laughter and guffaws as they shoot the This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, Mahanoy. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Told a truth that only WikiLeaks could tell. In this wise, Assange and his pals at WikiLeaks showed the world the real face of war. He showed the face of the U.S. Empire. And he's been treated like an enemy ever since. He broke through. And the fiends of corporate media, like the state itself, will never forgive him. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal.